Hello and welcome to Sat TV Week, the news programme for the global satellite industry. In this week's programme, Tricia has the launch news and Eleanor looks at Telenor's new transmission agreement with Netera. But first, the World Teleport Association has awarded satellite specialist Nutex M6100 broadcast satellite modulator with the prestigious accolade of Teleport Technology of the Year 2013. Newtech was praised by judges for providing the greatest contribution to the business and operational success of Teleport by lowering costs, increasing efficiency, enabling new capabilities and providing access to new markets. The Newtech M6100 Broadcast Satellite Modulator is a next generation DVB-S2, DVB-DSNG and DVB-S modulator that is ready to support the new upcoming S2 extensions and RF carrier ID DVB standards. It has specifically been designed for broadcast direct to home, primary distribution to head ends and contribution of television and radio content. It can be used in conjunction with set top boxes, professional IRDs or professional satellite demodulators and also has a platform to play a central role in networks helping evolve businesses through ongoing market and technology innovations. SignalHorn has completed the rollout of over 400 point-of-sale sites which service a global fuel retailer's South African network. This global fuel retailer benefits from SignalHorn's hybrid solution, which utilises DSL, 3G and VSAT technologies to deliver cost-effective and fail-safe communications. This customer is one of the world's leading oil and gas companies and fuel retailers. With retail presence across South Africa and the world, the company requires a robust and global solution that can be rolled out country by country, guaranteeing the same network quality of service to support secure transactions. SignalHorn has successfully rolled out more than 400 South African retail sites and also provides the complete end-to-end -end managed service in support of the network. The two companies achieved this expansion objective two months ahead of schedule in spite of infrastructure challenges in South Africa. For years, SignalHorn has been solving regional service issues for customers, including special license acquisitions, pertinent security and risk measures, as well as necessary qualifications and training to ensure uninterrupted service and connectivity for customers, regardless of location or situation. Kratos Integral Systems International Business Unit has been awarded a contract by AsiaSat to provide command and control systems for the AsiaSat 6 and AsiaSat 8 satellite programs. AsiaSat will expand its use of Kratos ISI's industry-leading EPOC integrated product suite fleet management system to support the AsiaSat 6 and AsiaSat satellite programs. AsiaSat 6 will have 28 high power C band transponders, and AsiaSat 8 will have 24 KU band transponders and a KA band beam. The high power transponders on the satellites will enable the use of small antennas on the ground. The two space systems Lorao 1300 satellites are currently under construction and scheduled for launch in the first half of 2014. Now, here is Trisha with the launch news. Sea Launch and Echostar Satellite Services have announced that Sea Launch has been identified as the intended launch services provider for the launch of a satellite from the ocean based Odyssey launch platform in 2015. Sea Launch's powerful Zenit 3SL vehicle is ideally suited for launching heavyweight class spacecraft with multiple restart capability and heavy lift performance. The Chief Executive Officer of Sea Launch said, Sea Launch welcomes the opportunity to support Echo Star's launch requirement in 2015. Cal Carson, President of Sea Launch, added, We are pleased to extend our relationship with Echo Star and we look forward to providing the required flexibility, performance, and diversity of supply necessary to support their business plan. 
Sea Launch provides EchoStar with the flexibility it requires to accommodate launch requirements as it undertakes the expansion of its North American fleet. Arian Spass has announced a launch services contract with Intelsat for the launch of three satellites through 2017. Weighing more than six tonnes each at launch, the satellites will be placed into GTO by the Ariane 5 ECA from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. The three missions will include the launches of Intelsat's previously announced high-throughput EPIC-class satellites. Intelsat EPIC is designed to address wireless and fixed telecommunications, enterprise, mobility, video and government applications that require broadband infrastructure. John Yves Legault, Chairman and CEO of Arian Spass, said, We are particularly proud to be able to serve the world's largest satellite operator and we thank Intelsat. It is an honour to continue a partnership that goes back nearly 33 years. This new contract for three satellites representing the 52nd, 53rd and 54 satellites Arian Spass will have launched for Intelsat is for us a confirmation of the quality and the competitiveness of our launch services. Now here is Eleanor with news of Telenor's new agreement. Telenor Satellite Broadcasting has announced the signing of a satellite transmission agreement with Natera, a new direct-to-home white label shared platform called the W1 that offers pay TV services in Bulgaria. Natera has contracted two transponders on Telenor's Thor 6 satellite, located at one degree west, one of the fastest growing orbital positions for Central and Eastern Europe. The capacity will be utilised for video distribution in Bulgaria, when Atera plans to offer other operators a premium pay TV platform, delivering a high quality and highly reliable service using the latest available technology. The arrival on the Terra gives another boost to local and international channel lineup, available at One Degree West, which distributes more than 700 TV and radio channels. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching.